Keeping a schedule is proving a lot harder than I thought. Nevertheless, welcome to the place we can talk about TV. Let's do some news. First up, AMC's Hell on Wheels is being picked up for a fourth season with a 13 episode order. The other seasons had 10, by the way. The show returns next summer, sticking with showrunner John Wirth, who took over the show after season 2. Personally, I haven't seen the show yet, but I understand it doesn't nearly get the attention it deserves. Have you watched it? What do you think? Is it worth my binge? I mentioned in a previous show there was going to be a Walking Dead spin-off, and that my feelings about it are kind of meh. Well, now there's talk it's going to be a prequel, taking place in a completely different location and showing us how the whole thing got started. AMC, of course, declined to comment. One of the executive producers on the show said, and hold on, this is a quote, it definitely won't be said in Georgia. It's important to us that this show exists on its own. The spin-off has to be a show worthy of existing, or else we've all sold out. <laughs> hey Rick, we're gonna need you to go out and run, get some supplies. Well, alright, let me just get into this brand new 2013 Hyundai that never runs out of gas or gets dirty even in the zombie apocalypse. Walker. Walker apocalypse, I mean. Still with AMC, the network has ordered a pilot of Preacher based on the classic Vertigo comic. If you're familiar with the comic, you might know that it's extremely violent and it touches a lot of religion stuff that might make some people go like, I can't deal with the fact that not everyone believes the same things as I do. So if they're planning to stay true to the comic, it might be a bold move. Judging from The Walking Dead, I don't know. Also, it hasn't been confirmed anywhere, but Seth Rogen might be attached to this project. A short while after the announcement was made, Rogen tweeted about bringing some of his favorite characters to life and then mentioned some of the Preacher characters. I don't know if he might be directing, acting, or whatever else. I am thoroughly excited about this because if done right, it could be amazing, which means it could also be terrible. The Killing, a show that was cancelled twice, is coming back from the dead a second time, this time on Netflix. Netflix picked up the show for its fourth, and according to them, final season. Or is it? Something that's kind of old news by now, but I'm really excited about, is that Netflix recently struck a deal with Marvel to bring out four new live-action superhero TV shows to our faces. This is amazing because as I said before, doing it on Netflix makes them able to take risks they would never be able to take on TV. The superheroes in question are Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, and Daredevil. Each show will have a minimum of 13 episodes and will eventually lead up to a mini-series about the Defenders. The Defenders! If you're not familiar, one of Marvel's more offbeat superhero teams. Now that's news I like. Now we just have to wait for a million years for it to come out. The first out of the four shows airs on 2015. And last in the news department, it has been confirmed that the How I Met Your Mother spin-off, How I Met Your Dad, has gone to pilot. So, um, there's that. That's, that. that's a thing that's happening. For reals. You might notice that I haven't mentioned anything about the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who, which I cannot explain to you how excited I am about. If you're into Doctor Who, then you probably already know everything there is to know about the 50th anniversary, but I'm gonna try to make a video later this week about all the awesome stuff that came out uh, related to the 50th anniversary. Usually when I watch people on YouTube and they say something like, uh, subscribe to catch all of my new videos or something like that. I always think, yeah, people know how the subscription thing works, but uh, now that I'm making videos, I have the uncontrollable urge to humbly suggest that you subscribe to uh, keep up with my new videos. I think we can have a lot of fun in this channel. Anyway, my question for you today is what comic book character do you feel deserve their own TV show? Post it in the comments, let me know. Hmm, that was, uh, was that a Jeremy Johns ripoff? I don't know. See ya!